location, the grape source itself. Um, we really have always focused so much on the flavor profile of this piece of property. When you taste the Oakville Cabernets, you taste the property itself. You're tasting um, intense fruitiness, blackberry, black cherry, plummy sort of notes, but then this elegant velvety structure that comes from the property and it comes from nowhere else. So truly for us, it's about this vineyard. It's about letting the vineyard speak. Now we've had two winemakers in our history. Our second winemaker, Michael Weiss, has been with us since 1994. And when Michael was brought in, it was, we really decided together that he would let the property speak through into the glass, so that it would just be the dirt and letting the grapes express themselves and almost staying out of their way so that, you know, not, with not too much winemaking. We don't want to make overpower a wine with the winemaking or the barrels or any of the elements that go into it. So we really want to let the grapes speak. Well, we have two of our wines here. So the Chardonnay is our estate wine from the Yonville property. It's called Hillview. So this is the 2008 Chardonnay. It's a, a Napa Valley Appalachian wine, and it comes from the fruit only from that property. The, these are Dijon clones and uh, clone four. They are about eight years old in this year's production, and they are put into barrel for about nine months. Some of the barrels, about 50% of them are new oak. New, we use only French oak at the winery. And then um, they are, we do suppress a secondary fermentation, a malolactic fermentation, because we don't want this to be a really buttery, rich, unctuous Chardonnay. It's really crisper. It has a note of vanilla oak, but it's really designed to be, not designed, it's allowed to be a, a bright, crisp wine that goes very well with food. So it's distinct in the sense that a lot of Napa Valley Chardonnays are ponderous, buttery, oakery. This is not that style. The other wine we have here is our Reserve Cabernet. This is our 2006, the current release. We make two Cabernets, as I mentioned, and it's really a story of the vineyard itself. So on the very western portion of this property, you have a creek, and the creek is deposited uh, loam, sand, rock, porous soils, uh, not particularly rich soils. So the vines struggle. They um, are constantly digging the roots deeper, up to 25 feet, looking for water. So with this struggle comes a, a, an intensity of the fruit itself. So the very, very best fruit on our property always comes from that section or the reserve portion of the vineyard. So then this is put into 100% brand new French oak for two years. And once we put it in the bottle, it stays here another year. So it's three years, grape to glass, as we say, from the time it's harvested to the time it comes to the customer. This is a, our smallest production wine. We make 3,000 cases. They are six packs, not full 12 bottle cases. So it's a small production wine really dictated by the vineyard itself and how much it can make. 